Hi Pumas, it's Miss Siebels, and I'm going to lead you in the exam today, so please compose yourself for prayer. Ad maiorum, de gloriam, we study, we work, we play for the greater glory of God. Today, on this rainy Monday, we wanted to stop and take a moment to thank God for the creation that surrounds us. While there have been hard conversations happening in our classrooms, homes, and our hearts around the heaviness of the last few weeks, we wanted to pause and reconnect with a moment with the sacred land that we live on. At Crystal Ray, we find God in all things, and creation is one of the easiest places to find God. We are commissioned to love and care for our creation. It's not optional. Our theme for the year is contemplatives in action. I'd like to practice that today. We're going to reflect on the words of Pope Francis as we celebrate the fifth year of Laudato Si, his encyclical on the environment and care for creation. And then we are going to put these thoughts into reflective action and spark hopeful change. Please join me in we, as we pray a prayer for the earth and cries of the poor by Pope Francis. Loving God, creator of earth and heaven and all that is in them. You created us in your own image and made us stewards of your creation. You blessed us with the sun, water, and bountiful land so that all might be nourished. Open our minds and touch our hearts so that we may attend to your gift of creation. Help us to be conscious that our common home does not belong to only us, but to your creatures and all future generations, and that it is our responsibility to preserve it. May we help each person secure the food and resources that they need. May we be present to those in need in these trying times, especially the poorest and those most risk of being left behind. Transform our fear and feelings of isolation into hope and fraternity so that we may, we may experience a true conversion of the heart. Help us to show creative solidarity in addressing the consequences of this global pandemic. Make us courageous to embrace the changes that are needed in search of the common good. Now more than ever, may we feel that we are interconnected and interdependent. Enable us to listen and respond to the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor. May the present sufferings be the bands of a more fraternal and sustainable world. Under the loving gaze of Mary, helper of Christians, we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. So today, Pumas, what can you do to help connect yourself back with creation? How can you, like Francis said, stand in solidarity in addressing the consequences of our pandemic and begin to take care of our earth some more? How can you respond to those most in need and care for our common home? Amen. Pumas, as we go forth from this place, let us remember that we are always guided by faith, prepared for life, and always serving others. Have a good day, Pumas.